Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss School today. I am bringing you Monk Monday number. I don't even know what today is. It's been a while. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over it, I go through your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns, solo shuffle as well, anything. You got Mistweaver or Windwalker gameplay, I will review it. Choose threes, RBGs, shuffle, Mythic Plus, raids, I've done it all, so please send in your gameplay. I think one of the best ways to learn at pretty much anything is to watch, is to record and watch yourself back, and that's just the best way. That's how I learned to play and improve at Mistweaver. So today we have Pimpin, who says, I've played since MOP, but never jumped into PvP till the end of Legion. Uh, same here, actually. I didn't start PvPing until, actually taking it serious until like BFA. Uh, since then, I've been stuck at around 1800 CR. Hopefully, this will help me find my weaknesses in certain comps. So I'm going to adjust my playstyle to help output my healing rotation along with my awareness. Of course, of course. And this is twos. Oh, we haven't had twos in a while. I We just hit 2400 in twos playing Mistweaver Warlock, except you were playing with a, I'm assuming it's an Affliction Warlock. But it could also be a Destro lock. I'm not sure which it is. But yeah, we will we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um and let's just let's just do it. So if you are playing with an affliction warlock, just be careful with your in caps because you kinda want UAs to be out. But I'm looking at debuffs here. I see no, this is an affliction warlock. Okay. So you're playing with an affliction warlock, which means you do not you basically don't want to ever use paralysis on anybody because when you use paralysis on somebody they're all the dots from your warlock go away okay so keep that in mind also i see the uad buff here so you do not ever want to incap unless it's like dire situation like live or die you know what i mean like that's the only time you want to incap but outside of that don't incap ever just go for sweeps uh good disarm here by the way uh so we're playing misweaver ret which is pretty you know it's a pretty common comp, I'd say. Your goal is to... It's literally just keep your, your Warlock alive. There really isn't much else to it. Yeah, I wouldn't even go for incaps on the healer because do you have the healer on focus? No, that's your target. That's your target. So this, this isn't good right now because this monk has a UA on him and 15 stacks of Agony and Corruption. So your Warlock has like his full dots out on this monk right now. And any damage in twos is important. Like, it's almost, it's just like shuffle. The more damage you do, the better. So, what you want to do is you never, you don't want to incap ever. Uh, especially this monk right now. <laughs> um, he was also on incap DR, which means your warlock probably coiled the monk recently. So, it's just DR'd. So, we kind of, we kind of got rid of, we made, we made the other Mistweaver's life a bit easier just because we dispelled those dots for him. And this Mistweaver is also... Dispelling UAs, which, I mean, it's okay, but ideally you don't. Good job with Manatee there. Put an envelope missed up with Yulon. Really good. Really, really good work here. Um, mana's looking pretty solid. I think you're just going to win with mana and damage. Um, blinding Light on your Warlock. Dispel it. Perfect. Um, that's Life Cocoon on the Ret Pally as well. Nice Disarm on the Ret. We're doing pretty good. We're doing really, really good. Reflect from your Warlock, so he's not going to be able to do much damage. I think Rets are still going to be able to do some damage. Drain Soul from your Warlock. I don't know what talents we're playing. I versus rep hallies. I normally play Eminence for sure. Disarm is really good. And then since you're playing with a miss, since you're playing against a Miss Weaver, I would actually I would have a little fun with the Rep Pally and play like Thunder's Focus T for like the double knockback on the Ret. But you don't have to do that. You could probably just play with Peace Weaver. Peace Weaver is good. You know, with Restoral. And then that way, if you ever get caught in a stun that you can't port, you can use your Peace Weaver and keep yourself alive. That is Hammer on you, though. Nice Fears from your Warlock. Really good Fears. And Peel's coming out. I'm trying to see. Good job with your Renewing Mist going out on yourself and your Warlock. Zen Sphere, beautiful. Maybe try to put it on the Ret if you can. It's just, it's a lot of globals for, like, Zen Sphere. It's really annoying. But if you can get it out on the Ret as well, that'd be really good. Uh, the monk, the monk, the enemy monk is struggling, and they're gonna struggle later into dampening. So at this point, good hodge. The, if they're gonna hodge you and not sweep your warlock, I think your warlock's just free to fear. Yep, that's fear on the on the monk as well. Great disarm on the rep pally here. Was that sweet? Was that magic bob? I think it looked like the magic bob animation there. Incap on you is fine, honestly. Yeah, that was magic bob. So your your warlock can't do much with the magic. You had a, you had a good sweep on the magic bob. It was fantastic, but. Your Warlock still can't do much with it. Um, means the Pally can't bubble for a minute or you know, a little bit, but um, I don't think... War Affliction Warlocks aren't going to have that kind of pressure where they're going to be able to like get a kill with uh, with the debuff up. 
But you get hodged again. Just be careful with yourself. You kind of always want to stay in range. You're, you could just port. I, I would just port. Just port. Yeah. Yeah, your first... Your first... I'm trying to see what's going on here. So that's what, Inquisitor. Yeah, I would just say first cooldown, port. Just port. That's it. I don't know if we have a port down. We do have a port down. We are in range as well. I see it right here. So I don't know. The port... I, th I would assume because you were just out of range of your port. Right here. And then we waddled. And now we're in range of port here. So I would assume your port is in this room. Yeah, if you ever if you ever get hit, even if you're only at like 80% health, I would still just port instantly. Because that way it's less damage you have to heal, you know? So that's also revival from the, the enemy misweaver. So um we're free cast right now, but again, again, it, we might live here, which is great, but just keep in mind you could just port. That's it. And then you're you're and then you'll be safe. You know, um, do not uh, go behind the pillar though. So right here, you can, the reason why you don't want to go behind the pillar is because your warlock is a caster, and your warlock cannot help. You see these fears on the rep alley, really good fears from your warlock peeling for you. But if you go behind the pillar, your warlock can't do anything to help you, and also can't do damage. So um, that's why porting is kind of good because you can port your warlock can port if, uh, to help with peel. But back here, your warlock can't help help you with anything. So just keep that in mind for next time. Hodge on you. We still have Trinket. I'd be a little careful. I think we should be okay because I don't think Rhett has... I think Rhett's damage is kind of done. But yeah, this is stressing me out here. Yeah, we could just port. So just keep that in mind. Because if you get kicked, which just happened, I don't know if he'll die. Nice fear on the Mistweaver. But yeah, we use Life Cocoon now. All this could have been avoided if we just ported the first time. And then the Rhett would have, probably have to swap to the Warlock. The good thing is that your mana should be pretty decent. We got five, four. Yeah, we got a good amount of stacks there. Good. We did have to use Life Cocoon, but I guess twos doesn't really matter. Um, the Mistweaver is falling behind because he keeps dispelling you. Is I don't know. I would normally only dispel with. Oh my god, the Rep Halley just. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if this this Rep Halley is playing like Judgment Dispel or something, but that guy just he just almost one shot himself. Poor fella. He had the bubble there, so the Rep Halley is definitely kill target. By the way. Um, definitely, definitely want to kill, uh, Coil here. Nice fear. This is a beautiful setup from your Warlock. Coil on the Ret, Fear on the Monk. I don't know. The Dots probably broke that fear. If you can make your way downtown to sweep either of them, it would be so good. Like, if you could sweep the Ret here, especially since Wall is falling down in 3, 2, 1. Sweet. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You're going to get a lot of pressure here. Good job getting away. Disarm after the, uh, stun is fantastic. And we're doing a pretty good... That's Revival from the Monk. I mean, there's just not much you can do about it. There's, there's not much, like, play around for, uh, P, like, Peace Weaver in Revival. Especially when I'm playing with the Infliction Warlock. There's not much you can do about it. But the Mist Weaver is Oom. Um. So, I mean, Ooming. Pretty close to Oom. Um. You have doubles mana. So, just gotta keep doing what you're doing. Great Fear on the Ret. Hopefully, nice kick on the Monk. This should be kill, actually. Uh, get ready to Todd here. I wouldn't trinket for the Todd. I mean, because we know it never works, but... There's a good chance maybe Todd could have worked there. Probably not, though. Um, big healing. Good. Good. Todd. Beautiful. Yeah, great game. Great game. Only one, only thing you want to be a little bit... I know you spoke about awareness. Just be aware. What I do, by the way, is uh, I have an add-on called Nameplate Auras, and it tracks, like, big, you know, cooldowns that the enemy has. I track Unstable Affliction. I do. Because I got yelled at when I... I the, one of the first times I started queuing Arena, I was playing with an Affliction Warlock. And they yelled at me because, like, my in cap, and I wasn't understanding at the time, my in cap kept breaking uh, or kept dispelling their unstable affliction. So just keep that in mind. Try your best to not in cap the unstable affliction. But other than that, I think you did fine. And then just remember to port. The number first cooldown, no matter what, if you're getting hit, boom, port. Easy. Your LOS, you can free cast, and you, you'll be fine. Most of the time, they'll just swap away from you. Like, they, they won't even, like, they won't even like keep trying to go you. They're just gonna like <laughs> they're just gonna swap to the other person. Um playing a lot of verse, a lot of mastery. We'd love to see it. Yeah, more mastery and normal twos and threes is really good. Uh, we got a port down, which is really solid. Try to get a statue up, beautiful. Feral open to So this right here. This right here is why you want to port put your port down and roll away from it. Because the ro oh, the feral druid can stun you and then Get a free cyclone on you. So this right. Uh, so our talents are fine, but our PvP talents aren't. Disarm doesn't do anything versus Feral Druids. 
So I would swap out disarm for eminence. That's that's what you want. Yeah, that's what you want. You want you want to swap out disarm for eminence, then you'll be fine. Because disarm doesn't do much for Sephiroth. It was good versus Rep Hallies, but not you know Ferals. But yeah, put port down statue up, and then immediately. Immediately and do this first feral jurids do this first any melee because right now if I was on the other team And I was doing threes and I saw that the mistweaver were stacking on their port I would say hit open up on the mistweaver because port is such a crucial way for you to live so versus rogues ferals warriors Like dk's anything with like a, a stun Try to get away from your port in the opener asap because they can open up on you you know, stun poly you if you're playing against Rogue Mage, stun into clone versus Feral Druids. Now they get the opener, um, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. That's my games. Good. <laughs> Fear on you, maim on your warlock. Uh, honestly, we did, we're doing a pretty good job. I, we dis, did we just disarm? Disarm doesn't do anything versus Ferals. I don't think. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I don't think it does. Uh, clone on your warlock is fine. But yeah, this is what you want to do. You want to stay away from your port. Uh, we could gnome this route. I think we gnomed it. Yeah. But clone on you. So there, there was some stops we could do here. There, there's some stops we could do here. So let me, let me see. I would also recommend, I don't try to comment on UI stuff. I would highly recommend getting a focus frame because then you could like see the, the, the feral casting here and I could see the dots. All right. So there's no, I mean, you should be fine. You, you have ROP, you have in cap. I, I would just in cap here. Or rob it. I would, I would rob this feral into the wall, probably. And I don't see many dots going out on the feral, so you could potentially in-cap them, too. But maybe, like, in-cap the feral, rob the mind control on your warlock. Something like that. You could also port. Port's fine, too. Because I think you're on stun yard, but I think you're going to be off stun yard kind of soonish. But you could also port this clone and then rob the mind control or in-cap it. Either one. But just try to avoid the cyclone. You could even outrange it if you wanted to. But this is a little scary. I, Pharaoh's doing some pretty big damage right now. Mighty Bash. So this might be... Nope, good kick on the clone there. Really good. Fear on the Pharaoh is fantastic. Fear on the Priest off that is really good. We, you want to try to... So right now is a really good time to get a sweep on the Pharaoh Druid. Whenever you see that your DPS gets a fear or like some kind of CC on the enemy healer, Try to get some CC on the on the DPS. So the full fear here on the on the disc priest is great from your warlock, and then I would try to go for a leg sweep on this feral druid, for sure. That way you get you get just maximize your pressure, and you're playing affliction warlock, so you kind of wanna <clears throat> you wanna get the momentum. You need momentum to win as a with an affliction warlock. So if you get a, a trinket maybe, and a next leg sweep is gonna be pretty pretty good. So let's see what happens here. Blood talons from the feral. Cyclone, you could kick it. Nice sweep, beautiful. He trinkets it. That's exact. Nice kick on the cyclone as well. That's exactly what you're looking for. That you're just trying to get cooldowns, and then eventually. Oh, okay, nice drop. I don't know why he's cycloning your warlock. I mean, I guess he's trying to get the buff, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> you could port this. Oh no, you you're not playing Eminence. So yeah, this is this is definitely why you want to play Eminence, right? Um, be careful of that in cap because of the first game because your warlock is drain souling right now i don't yeah no i when you're playing with your affliction warlock friend uh take in cap like off your bar because this is a ua nine stacks dots here dot like six dots right here and you're about to in cap them all off oh yeah no that's uh that you lose a lot of pressure with that because you want pressure on the dps and the healer that way they both fall behind so just keep that in mind it's yeah the the in caps are a little bit slightly rough you're gonna get feared for free anytime you're against any spec of priest mistweavers have so much mobility and priests do not Pri <laughs> priests have no mobility you know holy priest does have some mobility but disc and shadow priest have negative mobility the only time you should get feared is is truly never Unless you're, unless the feral can like maim and slow you while the priest waddles his way into fear, they should never be able to get a fear on you. So just keep that in mind. Don't ever run into a priest when they have fear available. Otherwise, you're just, you're just giving them like free crowd control, and that's that's what disc priests want. They want to. What right now this matchup is is pressure and momentum. So 
whoever is going to get momentum is going to win. That's a DR main, which is insane for you guys. Nice kick on the clone. Because Disc Priest will struggle. To, when when the Disc Priest falls behind, we did leg sweep in that dome. But, I mean, there's probably not going to be another chance with me grouped up so i guess it's okay but ideally you don't sweep into the dome but this is what i'm talking about right here the disc priest is now going to lose a ton of mana so the disc priest is going to just use so much mana right now to try to keep up with the uh with the ua warlock careful his fear um your warlock should have port soon i would i would assume maybe kick the mind games i think that's fine you can just spell nice good good zen spheres here but the good thing is there's nothing wrong with your healing rotation i think you're doing fine with your healing rotation um overall he's good careful don't stay too close to the feral because he can kick you for free nice precog on your warlock swaps to you nice kick on the cyclone this this pre this uh feral doesn't fake cast we run into the fear again be careful with running into these fears it does dr with clone but and and sure, even as even in this matchup, it's fine to kind of like eat fears from time to time. Like if you got the cocoon, and then you know it's fine. But in matchups where not everything is dr, just keep that in mind because priests priests are they they next patch too. Priests are gonna be doing some pretty good damage. Uh, stun on you. We trinketed that stun. Okay, why do we trinket the stun? I guess we're kind of freaking out a little bit. I don't think we needed to trinket that. Because I think we just swept two there, and we also had coil, so we probably didn't need to sweep, but we'll, or we didn't need to trinket there. But I guess we're kind of far ahead. That's also a wall from your warlock, so we just used a lot of a lot of cooldowns. Nice kick on that cyclone. I mean, we're super ahead on mana, which is good. But feral druids can do some pretty good damage, especially with incarn. We're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This right here. This right here. Never. So when 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 you have a melee or anything, if you have anyone targeting you. The last thing you want to do is roll towards your port, especially when they have spamable stuns, you know, if they have Rake and Meme and Mighty Bash, and then Priest has damage. So right here, what you should do while this while your Warlock is cloned, because again, he's your Warlock can't take any damage right now, like no, like none. I would immediately just start kiting around this pillar. Try to get them as far away from your Warlock as possible, because they're obviously trying to hit the Warlock still. And don't make it easy for them to hit you right now. I don't know. I don't know what we were trying to do there. I think we were trying to rop, but we're just super ahead on mana, which is great. But cutting towards your port is is rough. It, it's do not do that because the feral could have stunned you there. Actually, I actually don't know why he didn't stun you. Maybe he didn't have meme. He might not have had meme. Um, but I guess that was their incarn go with pi. So I think we just win another cyclone. So they're trying to kill you, but we're stacked on top of our port. So be careful. Like this feral is. Not doing much damage, but if he was, you you would you could fall behind uh, pretty easily. Um, but I think right now, I think you just win. Not gonna lie. This priest getting some mana. It looks like I think the priest is drinking. We should probably nice. That's a coil on the. I think that was swap too from the priest with a coil on the uh, feral druid. That's also paint some on the feral. So this is that's a lot of buttons. It's a lot of buttons. Nice drop there. Nice, good. Warlock's got dots out. I don't incap anything, just heal. Yeah, just heal. You're good. Precog on your warlock is this pharaoh's just getting precog to your warlock. So this is fantastic. Drain soul as well. And I think we're just gonna I think we're just gonna win after this rapture's down. That's a rapture from the disc priest, but I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be enough to like catch back up with your warlock. Oh we gate woo. We gate in. We gate in. Nice nice incap on that clone. I don't know how many dots we had on the warlock, but or on the feral druid. But I think, you know, not bad. Careful. Bash on you. We're not immortal. Okay. We're not. We're definitely not immortal. Mr. Reaver, we can die in any stun. Nice coil on the Pharaoh. Nice fear on the Pharaoh. Bark skin from the Pharaoh. Priest is drinking right there. He's drinking right there. He's drinking. He's drinking. Right here. Clone on you. No. Oh, he's getting, he's getting a lot of mana. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not, that's less than ideal. But I think, I believe it or not, I think you still won. I, I really do. The Disc Priest, again, is going to be falling behind. So, and they're not really... The Feral Druid really isn't doing, like, that much damage. It feels like... I, it just feels like the Feral just isn't doesn't have that much pressure. So, there's not much to heal. Try to kick on the Clone. That's fine. Cyclone on you. We just use Life Cocoon. So, we still have Restoral if we start to fall behind. Nice. Let's kick on your Warlock. It's nice sweep. Really good sweep there. Really, really, really good sweep. Revival. Probably didn't have to revive... 
probably didn't have to revival there. I think we just kind of freaked out a little bit. Your Warlock's LOS. Yeah, the, the Pharaoh was kiting here. So just, you know, you don't have to do much. Remember, healing elixirs cost no mana and they heal you. So healing elixir yourself. You know, you got two stacks of them. And then, you know, just heal your Warlock. Your Warlock actually gates in. It's ballsy. That's a ballsy call right there, but that's a good one. And, uh, yeah, I think we just need to... We're stunned. Yeah, the priest was doing some damage to us. Mame on you. Be careful. We have port. Nice health stone. We're spamming it. Uh, we have dampen harm. We have dampen harm. Damn. We have dampen. It, that... So, the biggest issue is that you're you're playing disarm and not eminence. Yeah, disarm does nothing versus feral druids. But we also wasted revival. You, did, you definitely didn't have to press revival when you did. Like, or even life cocoon. When do we when are we life cocoon? Let me see. Let me see where's life cocoon right here. Let me see. Fear. I guess maybe. That's fair. That's a fine life cocoon actually. That's fine. Yeah. Manatee here. Yeah, I would say it was just this revival right here that you didn't have to press it. And what's really important with restoral is you could use it while stunned. You know what I mean? So even though you don't not playing eminence, at least you could do something while stunned and then we just waste it. So it, because Restoral with Peace Weaver also makes you immune to some of the Disc Priest damage. So that's really good. But yeah, we, we also just let the Disc Priest kind of, uh, we, we kind of get chunked down here. Yeah, don't be afraid. You have to make sure you keep renewing mist on yourself. And then you also have, you know, you have healing elixirs, dampen harm, expel harm. You have a lot of instant healing. You have you have a good amount of instant healing. Do we have, where's Thunder Focus T? Where's Thunder Focus T? I see that we Fort Brew. Or is Fort Brew down now? Yeah. Um, trying to find Thunder Focus T, but I might be blind. Probably just worth to shrink it in, in port. Nice health zone here, though. Port. We also have gate. We had a lot of but Nice coil. Nice coil. Really good coil here. We, we actually could have hard casted here uh, with the coil on that feral. Definitely could have. Oh, yeah, yeah, oof. Yeah, that was a shadow of death, I think, from the priest. Um, yeah, that was rough. That 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 ending is kind of uh, sad because I feel like you guys were so far ahead the whole game. But, yeah, we didn't need to... So we have double healing elixir, dampen harm, expel harm. If we have thunder focus T, you have thunder focus T and velvet mist if you have to. And then we also have gate. So in these situations, just try not to panic. You know, you're low. It's fine. You have wall. You have healing elixirs, um, and then don't waste revival, and then you should be fine. You know, outside of that, this game, I think this game was played really well. I think I think it was a pretty well played game, just kind of an unfortunate ending, which is too bad. Next up, this is probably the hardest comp you can queue into. Yeah, if you lose this, um, I want you know, it is what it is. If you win this, you're gods. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, what we're looking for, we're looking. There's a few talents you can run. Disarm, really good. Uh, mandatory. Eminence, I would say, is really good because you're playing against a Resto Druid. So, you know, they have the Rake into Clone, Mighty Bash into Clone, Storm Bolt into Clone, like all that. So you definitely want Eminence. And then the last one can be really whatever you want. It could be Peace Weaver, which is Peace Weaver is fine. Um, could play uh, Thunderous Focus T <laughs> for the Nox on the Warrior. Could do that. But Peace Weaver is probably better. <clears throat> Careful stacking on your port, though. Druid comes out with NS already locked and loaded for the warrior, I guess. Kind of weird. Fear on your warlock as well. Oh, Zen Sphere is also a good option. That's wall from your warlock. Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. So this is a Fury Warrior. So just keep in mind, uh, they don't have Blade Storm. So you could disarm their cooldowns without having to worry about Blade Storm. So as soon as you see like Avatar, I think it's Recklessness too. Just disarm it instantly. And then you see these stacks. Where's uh, I don't think the Fury Warrior has any stacks of Slaughterhouse up yet. Uh, if I see any debuffs, I'll let you know. But there's stacks of Slaughterhouse that you want to disarm when they're at a certain amount. Why isn't he playing it? That's weird. Okay. Maybe it's like an optional talent for Warriors. I'm not actually sure. If the Druid's going to dispel dots, that's fine with us. <laughs> yeah, we don't mind that. I'm trying to see why it doesn't have Slaughterhouse stacks on your Warlock yet. Interesting. Um, Druid pushes in, no vortex, no bash. So we're just gonna we're just gonna chill here and heal. Uh, try to line clone. In cap is fine. Maybe get a sweep on the warrior. Stun on you. Get a double sweep here. 
Oh, we already swept. We swept. And we do have Disarm for the Warrior. That's Live Cocoon. That's fair. We also have Yulon going out now. This this one's going to be hard because Cyclones are just a pain. You could gate here. Perfect. Uh, uh, one note. I see that you're clicking gate. There's actually a toy that allows you to you press the toy and it gates for you. It's faster. You just need a keybind for it. As long as you can press the bind fast, it's. I think it's faster than clicking it. And then it, you won't like accidentally click like totems or clutter or anything like that. So if you're interested, there's there's a toy. I figure that's called like the Nether Portal. So it's a. It's should be able to just Google the gateway toy and and you should be able to find it on like Wildhead or something. Rally from the Warrior is pretty good. And we got some UAs. I think did that Warrior just reflect that UA or not? I can't tell if he did. No, it doesn't look like it. That's good. But it's dark packed. Riley's going to fall. Nice disarm on the warrior. Druid got the whole forest out right now. So you're probably not going to get killed with Treants up. If you're on you, stun on you. I, I was going to say, there's a good chance they go you because your warlock can heal off of the Treants. Uh, don't freak out. Just port. Yep, drop down a port. Port. Yeah, port. Oh. Careful now. Don't go too far, too close to your port. We have Hellstone. You could... Oh, no. We already used Dampen Harm. So, yeah. Right here. I, I feel like we freak out when we, when we get, like, targeted. Jump down. He follows you. Port. Yeah, just port instantly. Nice nice use of healing elixirs. Really good. You can also use Sweep. You have Sweep in three seconds. Uh, the, you probably get the human from the, from the warrior. But I think that that's good. Like, later down the road. But, yeah. Just don't freak out. Just port. Now you have to use, you know, your Thunder Focus Team from Envelopment Mist, and you're starting to fall behind. Yeah, I would, I would just port, and then, well, careful. Oh, we also didn't sweep the Warrior. That's a little unfortunate. Definitely want to sweep the Warrior there. because, And then we use both of our Cheat Torpedoes there, too, which is uh, not good if he keeps trying to go you. If this Warrior gives up on going you, it's fine. But if he, if he's, if he's persistent and he keeps trying to kill you, uh, it's not good. We have Gate and 30. Nice use here. Good. Good healing here. This is this is better position. I like this pillar a lot more uh, than the ramp. Warrior tries to go you. We, we're kind of far from our port, though. So this looks like Warlock's kind of cranking right now, which is really, really good. Druid is falling behind, which is great. Always do love to see that. But they're going to go you. That's Iron Bark on your Warrior. They, it's, they definitely want to kill you. So keep that in mind. Be careful. Stormolt on your Warlock. No stun on you, which is great. Nice leg sweep on the Warrior, because and he has no human. So that's fantastic. Um, when this Warrior gets you at around like 60-70% after the stun, you want to instantly port. And ideally, you're playing Eminence too. So that, uh, we Revival there. Revival's okay here, but normally what you want to save Revival for or Restore is for when you're stunned. Um, mostly because you're playing Peace Weaver. And you can, it, it's really crucial if you can, like, immune a Cyclone, which is great. Um, I feel like it's just good right now for an instant heal, but it's kind of a big cooldown. And you're not even in, in a stun anymore, so I would have held off on pressing Restoral. It's a, it, Restoral is a really important, like, talent. Um, nothing we could do about this Trank, but he could die through it just because dots go through Tranquility. I would have gotten ready here for, like, a touch of death. Oh, we got it. okay. Nice port, by the way, but... Kind of, we, we were kind of too close to it, so the warrior was able to like instantly reconnect. Fear on you. Okay. I don't know why I just stood there. <laughs> uh, DR Stormbolt. Nice life cocoon. That's good. That's good. Disarm the warrior too instantly here. Uh, this is going to be a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. I don't think we can outheal this if we face tank it. Nice drop here. Okay, good. Kick on you. If we have a sweep for the warrior, I would sweep the warrior. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Get ready for a Todd on the warrior. Nice fear on the druid. Trinket from the druid is fantastic. Do we get have any follow up fears? No, we have cycle. We have a coil on the warrior. Bark skin as well from the from the rest of druid. So that's that's a lot of buttons here. Dear Stormbolt on you. That's that's not good for them. That is not good. Uh, that is Iron Bark of the warrior though. So maybe we're gonna get some dots up on the druid. We're doing a really good job here. Cyclone on. Nice kick on the clone. We can actually get a kill if we maybe go for a little little kick on that. So okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right. We're just going to keep our Warlock alive. This is good. This is good. Uh, what do we got? We have Life Cocoon at 20. We have Rop. So I maybe Rop the nice kick on the clone. We have Rop as well to help with our Warlock. And we also have Sweep in five. I think we can win with that Sweep. Yeah, we can win with that. All right. We're not going to trinket this. I would have probably trinketed it for the Sweep, but that's okay. Because you're not me. You know, like, 
That would have been a very poor mistake. Nice kick. All right, we can we can win here. Go for Rising Sun. Beautiful. Go for a Todd here. He's freaking out. Nice coil. Beautiful. Well done. Yeah, good job. Uh, don't forget to port. Yeah, just port. Whenever you get, whenever you're feeling like you know you're falling behind, someone's trying to hit you, just port instantly. Get away from them and port. And then uh, I think what was the, there was something else, but I think overall this was a good game. Oh, disarm. Oh, eminence, eminence. Yeah, play eminence. Eminence is really good. Really, really good. Especially, you know, when you're playing with an Affliction Warlock, most teams kind of... I feel like most teams kind of struggle to hit the Affliction Warlock, especially if they're good at kiting. So they'll try to kill you, but if they can't kill you, they have to go on your Warlock, so then you just focus on healing one person rather than two. Uh, we just saw this matchup, so let's let's pick a different matchup. Let's pick a different... Oh, my God, this team goes... That game goes for a long time. Oh, my God. Is, is it just Feral Rest? <laughs> It's just Fury Ardurid. Okay. Hunter team. Okay. All right. So we got we got Spirit Airlines. And we have... What else we got? Holy Priest. So this one... The Survival Hunter. This this one's tough. Survi Hunters in general are really tough for Warlocks because they can just feign death off the, the dots, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, big... Silence on you is fine. You can kick in cap. Nice. Good. Good. Did your warlock just wall there? Okay. Your warlock walled. I'm not sure why. This is aspect of the eagle, I believe, from the survival hunter. So you're going to take some damage here. The, the, if you have disarm, I'd probably disarm. Great leg sweep, though. That is fantastic. Desperate prayer from the holy priest. Um, Trap on you. Fantastic. Good work. He breaks it. Nice. We got Zensphere on our warlock. Um, I would, okay, this is good. I was going to say, if the, if the hunter was going to go into the room, you have bring a piece to prevent him. Nice, good, good, Rob. Nice, soul run on the priest. We run into the priest again, so be careful about these, because he might be able to get a trap off this. It looks like he's not going for it. Cocoon is fine. We had to cocoon because we ran into the priest. I would just stay away from the priest, like, at all times. Kick from the hunter. Pets hitting you. Nice. Uh, if we're playing eminence, hopefully we're playing eminence. That's our wall. Silence on you. Trying to expel harm. I see. We have health stone. Uh, still, we still have health stone, which is really good. Scatter on you. Oh, nice sweep. Nice. Oh, they trick it. They fear you. Fear on the hunter is really, really good too. Great job porting here. Okay, we have our second port too with uh, escape from reality. But that's fine. All right, we're doing good right now. I don't think we actually have many cooldowns left. Nice, good, he breaks it. Good. We bring a piece to help our Warlock kite. Oh, we're trapping the Hunter in here? I, I'm fine with that. Yeah, this is good. Nice, dropping the Priest out. Perfect. Hunter st stays with you. We don't have a stun, which is a little unfortunate. Nice, seeing Cap on the Priest here. Good. Good, nice. Get away. Uh, that's Explosive Shot. You want to dispel this. This debuff right here, this... I don't know what it is. It's orange. You want to dispel the Explosive Shot as much as you can. Um... It does like AWE damage, so it just gets kind of annoying. GS on the Hunter, and that's also Apotheosis from the Holy Priest. So that's really good for us. We Nice Disarm on the Hunter here. Really, really good Disarm here. That's Feign Death from the Hunter as well. Fear on you. We still have Trinket. What do we have? We have Life Cocoon that can go with it. So right now, right now when I see us, we're, we're doing fine right now. Like mana-wise, we're doing fine. And then as long as you have Trinket Life Cocoon, you're fine. Like you're fine. So keep that in mind. I feel like as long as you have those buttons available, you are you are doing fantastic. This is gonna be a silence. Tried to spell this. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we use revival there. That's fine. Mind games. Oh, precog on your warlock too. So we should be get some fears out from your warlock as well. Uh that was coil on the hunter, fear on the hunter. We're looking for a fear on the priest if we can. Or sweep, sweep the nice, nice. I would sweep the priest now. Because the hunter's on Sundiar, I would sweep the priest. Uh, that's also Roy's sacrifice as well in the hunter. So they they're using a lot of buns here. They use that was that swap or was that what was that? Nice sweep on the priest. We got trinket there. Yeah, because he could have gotten totted. Perfect. Great sweep there. Breaking the trap. Fantastic. I don't know if that was void shift or not. I can't tell. It might have been. Yeah, that was that was void shift. Oh my god. Wow. So we just got every button. So right now we have trinket. We have cocoon. Priest is at negative mana. Just need to live. That's all you have to do. We're doing a great job here. Kick on. So now they have no kick for you. Okay. I might not have life cocoon there. Mostly because the hunter just kicked. 
Yeah, the hunter just kicked. So right now you're kind of just chilling. Like you have thunder focus T. You you're kind of chilling right now. You, they also they have trap coming up, but they don't have intimidation stun for four seconds. No scatter for four. Trap in two. So I don't. I hope. I really hope that we still win this game. Otherwise, that life cocoon was uh, a little bit slightly. I don't know. Trap on you, maybe? Because now we don't have life cocoon. I think they might get a fear off. Probably has to be trinket. Oh, nice. I think. Nice. Good. Stun on you. Nice. We trinket there. Wall from your warlock. Was that wall? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was wall. Good. Nice coil from on the hunter as well. Nice. We don't have gate for a minute. But we don't have trinket. Now we don't have trinket or life cocoon. So now we're going to be struggling a little bit. This is angel from the holy priest. So they're going to be able to recover without using any mana. Lucky them. Roots on you. If you're gnome, if you're gnome, you can just gnome it, baby. Because gnome's OP. <laughs> no, we're doing a really good job. Nice. That's stun. That's good. That's good. It's kind of a kind of offsets their go a little bit with intimidation stun. I'm trying to see. This priest looks like he's trying to drink. We're drinking mana too. We're sipping on tea right now. We got a decent amount of mana back. That sucks though that we just got trapped. Nice, good, good from the warlock. Fantastic. Um, fantastic the spells from your warlock. Uh, with I believe it's imp. Nice in cap there. They got a lot of mana though. That's turtle from the hunter. He might die through that. Okay. Yeah, really, really good spells. I, I haven't mentioned it, but your warlock's doing a really good job with dispelling with imp. Nice disarm on the hunter as well. Uh, we don't. Have, we just use sweep. That's fear, and we do get trapped. I feel like we should still be okay. That's packed. I think we should be okay though. They shouldn't have any more follow up. Hopefully, we get that silence. If not, it's fine. Life cocoon. Okay. I, they just CC. So the thing is, is uh, like they just use all their CC on you. Like they just use fear. They just use trap. I don't know if the, the hunter isn't close enough to kick you. Like I don't think we need to cocoon here. Dampening's, I guess, 61%, so it might be hard to recover. And we don't have Trinket. So I guess the Cocoon is fine. But you probably could have held on to it just a little bit. Uh, just because, you know, they just CC'd you. They have nothing for you. They have nothing to stop you from just free casting. It's good to save mana, I guess. But, yeah. The Priest kind of got a big drink, though. Stun on you. Mind Games on, what, your your Warlock? We have Sweep in 15. Maybe, maybe we can get a kill in the Hunter. Dispel from your Warlock would be really nice. Nice, good dispel from the Warlock. They're not Hunter's marking you, which is great. Divine him, looking for an in cap. Do we have any dots on that Warlock, on the Priest here? Let me see. Uh, nah, just some Agony stacks. I guess 18 stacks is kind of a lot. Um, maybe when the Hunter comes in line, we could sweep. Oh, okay. That's good. Nice Tiger's Lust. Fantastic Tiger's Lust. Good. GS on the Hunter. This is a tight one. Explosive shot on your Warlock. Dispel that when you can. It's just like damp free damage that you could dispel. Trap on you. Nice dispel from your warlock. Fantastic. We're out of mana though. We have eight stacks. We have eight stacks of mana T. Nine stacks now. Yes, good. Fantastic. We have Life Cocoon coming back. Precog on your warlock. Hopefully your warlock's able to just spam fear. Because I don't see any fear to yours. So they should should just be able to spam fear. And, like, hopefully just live long enough to get a kill. You have Life Cocoon in three. You also have Trinket coming back. Good drinks here. This is really good. Yeah, the Hunter. Oh, okay. We Life Cocoon. Okay. Wow, we just... We kind of throw out Life Cocoon, but nice drop on the Mind Control. I don't know if we had to. We still have Disarm, too, from the Hunter. Okay. Hunter was kind of running right on the pillar, but that's that's fine, too. Good. Oh, they trap your Warlock. That's weird. Maybe you mistrap. That's weird. Fury and Warlock too. They're trying to kill you. We have Damp and Harm. All right, don't freak out. We have nice sweep, fantastic sweep here on the Hunter. We also have, that's Coordinated Assault and Warrior Sacrifice. We have Port somewhere. I think it's in the room. Yep. Oh, no, it's right there. Okay, we never reset our Port. That's okay. I think we can get a kill on this Hunter. I believe. Warrior Sacrifice is down. Coordinated Assault. Warlock's going to get silenced, but I think, I think they just die. Nice job. Nice job. Good work. Good work. Yeah, good work here. Um... Yeah, just be, we kind of throw Life Cocoon. I know it's late in dampening, so I guess 73% of that last one's fine. But just be careful with Life Cocoon because that's that's Life Cocoon and Revival. Are, they're kind of our only buttons. <laughs> they're like literally our only buttons. So, but yeah, no, overall really good. Another Hunter? Do we have anything? What's this? Another Hunter? I, oh, so what is this? This is a, this is a BM and is this, 
It's a marks. All right, do we want BM or marks? Probably marks, right? We see more marks hunters. All right, we got Mistweaver marks hunter versus Mistweaver affliction warlock. This is another really, really hard matchup because the warlock's going to be able to get his dots out, but then the Mistweaver can just dispel with Peace Weaver or with Revival. And the only cooldown you're looking for is True Shot. You're, you're really you're only looking for True Shot. And you want, it's that's True Shot. Great port from your Warlock. You want to disarm it instantly. Beautiful. All right. That's that. The issue is your Warlock can also very quickly die to like Rapid Fire. So just do your best. That's Wall from your Warlock. Okay. Wall from your Warlock. That's Feign Death from the Hunter. Master's Call on the, on the Mistweaver. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, that, the, pretty much what you want to do. I think you need to be the aggressors because I don't know if we went in dampening. They had, that's, oh, that's the spell from the Mistweaver. We don't mind that. Because aim shots, yeah, see that aim shot took like 30% of the health out? That's all it takes. Oh my God. See how he's just dying. He's literally just dying <laughs> to, to, to aim shots. It's crazy. Um, but you just got to do your best. Try to get what your, your role is to disarm True Shot instantly. And get really, if you can get a really good sweep, like right now on both of them, it would be really good. Nice. I see I try to gnome there. You could also Tiger's Lush yourself. Mr. Weaver's pushing it. Yeah, I would get a sweep on this hunter. If you could get any sweep on this hunter, you're gonna you're gonna be doing pretty good. Trap on you. Uh dispel from your warlock. Fantastic. He pushed in for a sweep. It's DR though. Sweep the Mist Weaver. Nice disarm on the hunter for you as well. Good. Great job, great job. Yeah, you want to look for a sweep on on literally anything. Yeah, Rop here would be fantastic. A double sweep would also be really good. Life Cocoon, probably didn't have to Life Cocoon just because, I mean, I guess it saves mana, but you were kind of LOS with no CC on you, and we're kiting hella far. Um, I don't think this strat, I don't think that works. Not for some Marks Hunters, because Marks Hunters, they don't care, man. They, they literally don't care. They're just going to throw three aim shots and kill your warlock. <laughs> kill your warlock instantly. Like, that's true shot. Yeah, if we have disarm, we want to disarm the hunter, but I think we're too far away to disarm it. Um, kick on your warlock is not not ideal. Big healing here. Good roots. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, this this one's hard. Yeah, the, the hunters, they, they do a lot of damage. They have the, the MS as well from the pet. They have the true shot damage. Great disarm there on the true shot. Your warlock has gate in 45. Disarm's going to go down. Intimidation stun on you is kind of wasted just because they can't get a follow-up trap. So really good job uh, just avoiding damage there in CC. But, oh, my God, the Marks Hunter just doesn't care. Holy cow. Let me see. Good. Doing a good work here. Keeping your team alive. Great. Mana-wise, we might have to look for a drink at some point. Don't know how soon, though. Roots on you. Roots on your Warlock. Aim shot. Nice precog. Good. They have no kick for you now. Good job keep renewing mist up. Good. Nice. We got procs there on our vivifying renewing mist. Nice drop there. Get a sweep. I think we really need a sweep. Like a, like a really juicy leg sweep right now on both of them. They're starting to fall behind a bit. Dang. Yeah, try to be a little bit more. If you can get any. like I don't think we've used leg sweep once. And it's been almost three and a half minutes. You definitely want to leg sweep as much as you can. Um, especially when teams are stacked up like this. Like you could just push in. You could roll in, get a sweep, and then. And then just like pour it out or like roll back. Sweep on you now. See? And then their, you know, now their team's the aggressor, which is a little unfortunate. Uh trap on you. Nice dispel from the warlock. Uh, I think it just broke to volley there. Nice coil on the hunter. Dispel from your from the misweaver. Soul rod on the hunter. That's kind of good. That's kind of good. Actually, he might feign death. I think he has feign death, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure it's just yeah, there. Nice sweep. Really good. That's revival though. It's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, this matchup's hard. Dispel from the Mistweaver. It's going to be kind of hard to heal, though, later in Dampening. Good Rop here. Yeah, <laughs> this matchup is something. Nice. Stun on you. True Shot. Try to disarm it if you can. Oh, God. They, they can kill you, too. Yeah, yep. We're, we're not <laughs> mortal, either. Marks Hunters can absolutely kill you. Worry Sacrifice on the Marks Hunter. Volley. Good damage. Nice. Good. Disarm. Perfect. Coil on the Hunter. Good. Where a sacrifice is going to be down. I think that's Yulon from the Mistweaver. The other Mistweaver. Uh, I think they have Sweep. That's Rop. So be careful. They could. I'm surprised they didn't try to kill you. But we're taking some damage here now. Your Warlock ports. Oh, nice life. Cocoon. Good. 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 Yeah. I I think you need to... In matchups versus like Hunters, you need to be the aggressors. So with your leg sweeps, 
You have a leg sweep now. They're stacked up. I think the Miss Favorite just used a Fuse Magic. That's a rapid fire. So you want to try your best to sweep them like now. Because you want to get you want to you want to get a trinket from them. You want to force a trinket, and then your warlock's able to fear because they only have one range kick, um, and the Miss Weaver isn't pushing in that often. So trap on you, nice dispel from your warlock, and then nice disarm. But then you want to sweep, like right now, roll in and get a double sweep here while your warlock's pushing in. Yep, good. Yep, sweep here. Yes, boom, boom. You get one trinket there. Fantastic, and you got revival. Like you see that? That's that, that's just from literally one leg sweep. So you kind of want to be doing that. And what you also want to try to do is try to keep your team aggressive. We do have Restore, we do have Trinket. Oh, we just use Restore. We don't have mana though. So I feel like we need yeah, kind of a miracle. We have Cocoon in 13. We need a really good sweep in like 20. If we could live 20 seconds, we have Life Cocoon in 10, right? And then we have Leg Sweep. So I think we need like a nice, we need a juicy Leg Sweep on, on this Hunter, I think. But the Miss Weaver hasn't had the Trinket yet. So really good. Unless we can get a drink. At some point, good Yulon, Life Cocoon as well. Disarm on the Hunter is fantastic. Right now, so what I do if I'm late in dampening, like this Life Cocoon is probably massive, right? You have 50 stacks of common coalescence here. So I would go for a giant Life Cocoon and then roll towards like the other side of the room, like the other side of the map, and then try to get a drink. That that's what I would try to do. Just because the life they won't be able to break through the life cocoon. They they really this is this life cocoon is probably like a million damage. So I would just do your best to Oh, that's Master's Call from the Marks Hunter. Probably not going to be able to get a drink now. Rapid Fire on you. Ooh, yeah, no, this is not looking. Nice nice use of Healing Elixir. Is great. Get a sweep here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, it might need... Uh, it probably should in cap, but I don't know how many... What dots the Mistweaver has. Kick on you. So sweep on you. We have Trinket. Nice Trinket. Nice wall from your, your Warlock as well. But that might not be. I think we just have no mana. Yeah. This this is a really hard matchup. The the biggest I the key in this matchup and like matchups where like you're because it's close. The Miss Weaver is almost on the mana, where you're kind of not favored, is you really want to be a, the aggressor. Like you want to be the aggressive players. So try to use your leg sweep a lot more. Like a, a, definitely a lot more. Especially at the start here, where this this team was just stacked up for like I don't even know the first two minutes they were stacked up just over here. Like, just, just leg sweep them. Because you're playing with an Affliction Warlock. Your Affliction Warlock, what they're doing is they're going to get their dots out and everyone's just going to slowly die, right? So if you leg sweep them, even if they're slightly LOS, it's okay. Especially if your Warlock has dots in them. Because they're just going to keep dying while stunned. So keep that in mind. Try to utilize your leg sweep, especially when teams are stacked up a lot more. It, you'll get tr you'll get cooldowns like Trinket and all that a lot, lot quicker um, if you just use your leg sweep. Because... I mean, I think it's one of the best stuns that you could like right now. Like they're one's at what sixty percent, one's at eighty, and then you just going for a sweep here, especially on the, it's a stop damage from the hunter, and then maybe one of them trinkets. You know, they, they're still gonna be dying while stunned, so just keep that in mind. But overall, these games weren't bad at all, Pimpin. Like not even your healing rotation's fine. You definitely need to port more. Just port. You if you start to get attacked, port instantly. And then use your second port. Maybe reset your port and port a second time. Uh, try to use Eminence as well. Eminence will help you avoid any team going you ever. It'll also help you avoid CC like stun into clone, uh, stun into, I don't know, poly, stun into trap, stuff like that. Just like use Eminence. You can completely avoid any damage, especially, you know, when warriors are going on you, Pharaoh's trying to hit you and all that. Um, so don't freak out when teams go you. Try to port more. Um, but yeah, healing rotation seems fine. Healing rotation seems fine. I'm sure, you know, you're pushing 2k. You could probably push 2.1 easily, probably even higher. Um, doing a really good job. Your warlock was doing a very solid job of dispelling you. I think in the second, the first hunter game, I think this game, uh, your warlock did a fantastic job of using imp to dispel your traps. So that's really good. It's nice that you have a warlock, but yeah, keep queuing with this warlock consistently and um, you, you'll be... 2k 2.1 in in no time but overall yeah great work fantastic work hopefully this is helpful for you or anyone who might be running to the same issues anything like that but that is it for me hope everyone has a fantastic day hope you enjoy the video i'll see you later